Well, welcome back to the Guardian Project podcast, um, Paper Commander Stream. I'm your host, Andy. And I'm your other host, Mike Coyle. And we're joined again by Chris and Dan tonight. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Well, we'll see how this game goes. Last last game uh, that got really fast uh, out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we, we are playing the same decks. Again, this is the budget uh, Zendikar Rising Night. So all of our decks were built with a $50 budget in mind. Um, so the deck that I am playing for this game is Kaza Royal Chaser, a human wizard that has flying in haste for a blue and a red. Um, Kaza also says tap it to... Um, reduce the CMC of the next instant or sorcery that you cast by X, where X is the number of wizards you control as the spell resolves. So I am playing big spells, um, lots of wizards. This is a wizard tribal deck, um, and uh, I'm hoping to cast uh, something real big to, to, to take everyone else out. Uh, Coil, what are you playing? I will be playing Phylath, World Sculptor. It's a 5-5 five, five elemental for six mana in gruel colors. Um, when it enters the battlefield, they get a zero one one plant for each basic land I control, and I have landfall to put four plus one plus one counters on a target plant. I'm looking to do some plant combat tricks and smash some face with some smashy plants and smash. Smash! Gruel smash. Smash. <laughs> and Dan, what are you playing? I am also on the smash train with a Morog, Fury of Akum, which says each creature you control gets plus one plus zero oh for each Time it is attacked this turn, and then landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, I get an extra combat phase. Untap all creatures and, you know, do more combat. Oops, I'm throwing my cards everywhere. And it's a, it's, the name of the deck is Morog's Fast and Furious Goblin War Party. So I'll let you figure <laughs> it out from there. I bet you we're going to see goblins and extra combats and lands. Maybe. What a concept for a deck. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Chris, what did you bring? I brought Black White Cleric Tribal, or uh, Skyclave Hierophant, and he's, uh, whenever he or another cleric I control dies, I can return target cleric with lesser cover man cost when I to the battlefield. So there's a little bit of sacrifice, there's a little bit of death and taxes type, there's a little bit of hate bears, there's a little bit of everything. It's a Chris deck. It's a Chris deck. It's a Chris deck. Wonderful. <laughs> well, um, well, we have um, randomized the player order. I, I get to go first this time. This doesn't happen that often, so I'm pretty no. excited for that. Yeah, but before we begin, we just want to make sure that you check out our show. We are the Guardian Project Podcast. We have podcasts where we talk about all things Magic the Gathering, but mostly Commander. We record new episodes every Wednesday, and you can find them on wherever you listen to podcasts to today. Wonderful. And the links to our show will be in the notes below if you're watching this on YouTube. You can also find links to our uh, decks and social media accounts in the notes as well. Don't forget to subscribe and follow if you like our content. Um, Dan and Chris, where can we find you online and your content? Well, you can find me on Twitter, just like it says in my handle, at DP Grouse Jr. You can find me at Kelsum Gaming on Twitter as well as YouTube. Uh, Kelsum Games on Twitch and Kelsum on MG Nexus. I also do the graphic design. I do the thumbnail gameplay gameplay video thumbnails for Guardian Project Podcast here as well as CNC Power Hour. Perfect. All right. Well, let's get started. I am first, so I will I will draw for turn, and I'm going to play a mountain. And then I'm going to play a soul ring. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, then I'm going to pass. Whoa. Whoa. This is budget magic? <laughs> this is budget. I do, have, I do have some artifacts that fit my budget because turns out some wizards are like pennies. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play this forest and pass. Just a forest this time? I'm, I'm, I, I'm... I know. I know. <laughs> Mountain and pass. Okay, what dude. was it last time, Coil? Uh, it was search for tomorrow. Oh, suspended you're right. <laughs> Started with the mono green ramp right off the bat. <laughs> it was pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play planes. This is gonna seem familiar. Maybe get a little bit of deja vu if I'm gonna cast sword. Oh hey. god. Okay. <laughs> as long as it's not the other one. As long as it's not the other one. Thank you for the for the follow, Mr. Big Bents. Let me draw for turn. Andy, oh, so so you. Out last game. What was that? I've had such a priest out last game and had Coil losing life for each of the planes that are in the battlefield under his control. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I wouldn't that like deck. that. What'd you <laughs> say, Dan? I do you have, have Sutra Priest in this deck. Wait, 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 wait. He, you have Sutra Priest in that deck. 
Yeah. Did you did you specifically tech your deck against me and Mr. Coyle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worked out nicely. You know, you know, Chris, Chris, I approved of everything you did in that last game. Such a priest? No, that is beyond. All right. Crossing a crossing a line there. I'm gonna play an island, and then I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna pay three. I'm gonna play a Vidalian Illusionist. It's a two-two wizard that has pay blue blue and tap it to to have target creature phase out. Ugh. And then I'm going to pass. I'm going to draw. Yeah, so chat asked if anybody got foils from Zendikar Rising um, because they surprisingly aren't curling. I have gotten quite a few foils, and they are not curling at all. I got this this foily scoot scorn. Ooh, and look at that. No, no bending. Coil, no what, bending. are you passing your turn there silently? I'm passing my turn, yes. <laughs> passing the turn already? Oh, wow. <laughs> I was really expecting something crazy. Don't 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 mock me, Dan. Okay. Uh, well, you sound a little salty or something. <laughs> a little too much justice in your life. The pain is coming. I want to play Sparksmith and pass my turn. What is Sparksmith? Please explain. It it does nothing. It's just a goblin. No, I don't believe that. There's enough text. There's, in there. there's, is that Fine. all? Text? Please read all the flavor text. If so, Sparksmith deals X damage to target creature and X damage to you, where X is the number of goblins in play. Are you threatening me? If it didn't hurt, how would I know it worked? Ooh, we gotta live a little bit on the edge here. Is all I'm saying. Nice, nice. I like it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Past the turn. Um, and then, Chris, <laughs> did you gain your life? Pass, yes. Actually, you're supposed to gain two life, life, right? So you have 42? Yeah. As long as you don't play that other cleric, that the other mono white cleric. White cleric. <laughs> no one wants the one that exiles everything. Don't you do it. You know what, you know what Chris? I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll I'm pay, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast uh, Talisman of Hierarchy. All right. Nice. After that, I'll pass. All right. I am going to untap and draw for turn. And I'm going to play a mountain. And I guess I'll play Kaza. And then I will move to combat. And I am going to hit the guy in the throne. Yeah, I'm going to swing at Chris for one in the air and two on the ground. You know how this went last time? I know, so i got to keep your life down now before it becomes 66. Yeah, I guess that's not the argument. <laughs> <laughs> and then I pass. It's like, wait a second, I'm not helping myself. <laughs> um, I am going to... There's nothing crazy out right now, right? No, there's nothing crazy out. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna play this forest. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna cast Burnished Heart, and I'll pass the turn. Very jealous, sir. Very jealous. Yeah. Yes. Me too. I could go for some lands. Mm -hmm. you think, I mean, we have the same. You have two more mana than I do. Right? I I could go for some blue mana. Okay. Fair. <laughs> that. I gotta figure out my swing sequencing here. Uh, you're you're on turn three and you're figuring out sequencing. Yes. Yeah. I'm That's going crazy. to. Got to sequence so, it right. Yeah, I do. I'm going to play Squee Goblin to Bob, and then I'm going to pass my turn. Nice. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to tap card. Play. Well, hmm. chat's talking about foils and curling. They're saying the double double masters foils are not having curling. I can attest to that. That is actually true. Double master foils are very nice. Cast an Orzhov signet. Um. Then I'm gonna pay 
three, and I'm going to cast Veto, Thorn of Dusk Gross. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, Veto. Then, when he enters the battlefield, uh, the Warden's going to trigger. Yeah. Oh, God. We're all going to lose a life, aren't we? Uh, no, it's just target player. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain a life, and Andy, you're going to lose. I'm going to lose a life. You're going to lose. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, I pass. All right, so I'm going to untap, draw for turn. I will play another mountain. Um, what's Vito's power and toughness? He's a 1-3. Okay. Um... I'm going to tap Kaza to reduce the, the CMC of my next spell by two because this mm -hmm. is a merfolk wizard. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm going to pay three. One, two. One. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way. That's what I'm going to do. And I am going to Comet Storm it Vito for three. No. Good, call. Uh, good call i mean if coil were to put in like nine creatures it could be a, that it could go crazy real fast it's, it's true and before i i do that i would definitely have tried to make a deal with chris to have all nine of those <laughs> things go somewhere else correct <laughs> yeah, it's true and then um i'm gonna move to combat and uh chris i'm gonna hit you for two okay and then i pass the side of the table over here is about to go oh, to war. Hold on. <laughs> I, would, I would like to take an action in your end step, Mr. Andy. Okay. I'm going to tap the Sparksmith. I'm going to have it deal two damage to that burnished heart. Ooh. And I'm going to lose two life. <laughs> oh. Sir. All right, Dan. We see, made... I, we, see, <laughs> we see the real problems. We do. Uh, yes. I'm my neck. You made my next turn really easy, so that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Nobody sees a Sparksmith coming. <laughs> so I'll untap and I'll draw them. And I'm going to play this mountain, and I'm just going to cast a migration path yes. and go find two forests and then pass the turn. <laughs> I, I feel like I barely slowed him down. I, I you, did nothing. You, you just you just made my turn just like I knew what I was going to do for sure now. <laughs> yeah, you were like, I have this or I could sack the burnished heart, but now I'm definitely exactly. just going to do this. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. I think all I'm going to do is put out this Mind Stone and just pass the turn. Uh, hmm. I'm going to pay... Uh, Carlos into my warthog signet for black and white. And black. I'm going to cast Edgewalker. Yes. Um, and I'm going to gain a life. But no one's that... going to lose a life right now. <laughs> True. <laughs> and then I'm going to Tap two. I'm going to cast Marauding Bright Light Priest. What is that? Whenever I gain life, each opponent loses one life. Oh my Yeah, but gosh. it's a one for one. Yeah. So this so is everyone and not back. just one person. Correct. Correct. Okay. I feel better about that because then we're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. How big is that thing? It's a three two. Three two? Okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to land the battlefield. I'm going to gain a life. While well, lose a life. We're mm -hmm. all losing a life. Nice. Okay. Um, then I'm going to play my land for the turn, which is Scoured Barons. So I'm going to gain a life. So lose a life. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do I want to? Can I respond to that? 
You can't respond to it. You can't or you can can't. respond to the. Oh, you, can, oh, you can respond to the trigger. That's. Do I need to blow up this this the little blight thing right now? If you want to waste. All your I mean, removal. well, here's the thing. Hold on. It it might deter Coil from just ramping. Oh no, trigger. I'm ramping. No, I'm ramping. It's not. All right, all right. I'll, 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 Andy, I want it to stay me. so that everyone else is like. What did what, you say, Dan? I agree with you, Andy. You have convinced me. Yeah, I think we wait and like let everybody's life total go down, and then you know <laughs> decisions have to be made later, right? C correct. Yeah. I'm casting my commander on my turn. Andy, you take one damage. I take one damage. <laughs> 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 ah, yes. And then after that, I pass. All right, untap. I'm going to draw. Well, that does not help. Okay. Yeah. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to cast um, Nin the Pain Artist. Nice. What does that do? So I can pay X, uh, blue and a red, and tap Nin, um, and it deals X damage to heart creature, and that creature's controller draws X cards. Uh-huh. I don't like that. I can't go in. I mean, I can't put Kaza into a spell like that, or at least I didn't figure it out on a fifty-dollar budget. But um, this it's might the killing my creatures. I don't like. I I kind of want to kill mine to draw my own cards. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, but I don't have an extra blue, so I I have to wait till next turn. Um, so after that, I'm gonna go ahead and I will, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just. Pass. I'm gonna untap and draw. Uh, tap six for my commander. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Solid. So ETB, my trigger goes on the stack, and then Chris, your trigger goes on the stack. So yours will evolve first. Yes, yeah, so I will gain a life, and then as soon as I gain a life, I'm running Blight Priest, go on top of the stack, and I All right. All right. I can't let this keep going. I'm going to respond. Oh, no. I have such a horror. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let, Where the, to put... let the tokens come in, and then we'll lose and that And then life. respond. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can lower our life totals a little, or do you not want yours to go down at all? It's going to go down uh, six more. I mean, that's okay. Six more, and then I'm going to take two on top of it. No, no, I'm not okay with that. Oh. We're going to get it before the six triggers. Andy wants to get everyone in fireball range. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> I'm going to end up taking two plus one, right? And everybody else is going to take one? Correct. All right. I take three. Okay. I don't I'll know if I one. was at 38 or 37, so I'm just taking I... that one there going to 36. Yeah. I can't remember what I was at. Actually, no one swung at me, right? Mm -hmm. oh, no, you took we advantage took, no, we earlier. Yeah. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get six plants, and then I'm gonna play this forest uh, landfall trigger. I'm going to make a corn. Okay. And by that I mean put four plus one plus one counters on one of my plants, and then I'm gonna suspend this search for tomorrow. All right. So you got. Five, six, seven. Um, you could. You, it's gain seven overall yeah. for you, but one of them I think you already resolved. Ooh, my gosh! And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good card. I like it. Doesn't quite get me there. Um, I really wish I had a second blue mana <laughs> so I could phase things out. Because the goal was I could have just mm. phased Chris's creature out when you did that coil. I will oh. just play my Morag. And Chris will gain one life. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass my turn. You going to let me keep it this time, Andy? <laughs> yeah, I, last time I just put it back in your hand. You didn't even have to pay any extra for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you should fair, do that with my commander. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you said you passed, Dan. I absolutely passed after that. I'm sorry. All right. All right. 
Now, Morag not being a goblin means that you still only do two damage with your creature, right? That is absolutely correct, sir. All right. Do you play the birthing like... bows in there or anything so that you can get two two goblins? <laughs> no, no, I did not. Um, I probably should have. That makes the changelings, right? Yeah, two two two. I'm gonna tap my talisman for Carlos into War Tossing it for two. I mean they cast Aura. Oh, and when Aura casts the battlefield, I'm gonna gain a life. Yes, you are. You are gonna gain a life. How much life gain? And then I'm going to tap two. Uh, for two white, I'm going to cast Fiend Hunter. What does that do? When it enters a battlefield, it exiles a target creature. Uh, and when it leaves a uh, battlefield, that creature is the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to target the Spark Smith. Fine. B- big, big fan of these choices. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I can tap it response as it enters, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You can tap in response to the yeah the trigger. So how big is Fiend Hunter? It's a one three. Ooh. So I can't get it. Darn. If it. you if you would have your creature would be gone forever. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hit your soul warden's only one one right. Um. Yep. Yeah, we'll hit that Ooh. in response. Okay. I'll take two. And right, my uh, spark thing is gone. Okay. Um, when Fiend Hunter entered the battlefield, I would have uh, sworn trigger was going to be stacked. So gonna... Yeah, so you still gain your life. Okay, solid. Uh, then I'm going to pay one. I'm going to cast Priest Forgotten Gods. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Keep using, keep using I... a removal on small fry, I guess. I, I like your plays, Chris. I very um, like and then you, you're playing... if you weren't playing a deck that makes eight hundred tokens every time you cast your <laughs> commander, I love I love the aristocrat style. <laughs> I would always love this deck. Oh, uh, after that, um, let's see. Yeah, after that, I pass turn. All right, I'm gonna untap, and I will draw. Um, I will draw a mountain. And play the mountain. And then after that, I pass my turn. Oh, all right. I'm going to untap. And at my upkeep, I'm going to remove a suspend counter from Search for Tomorrow. And I'll draw a card. Believe in the fungus. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm going to play this mountain as my land for turn. And I'm going to create the uh, the level one one boss from Kirby's Dreamland. <laughs> That's not the music though for that level. I forget what that music is. <laughs> oh, that, I think that, I think that the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should we I, yeah. You know, if we had it on if we had it we could have put it on the show. I was not prepared sure. for that song. <laughs> yeah, we all should really get Andy a stream deck just so he can play random words and stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I have a stream deck. I just need to program it for the, these songs. I just don't have it ready. I do have a stream deck, and I have six oh. open keys that I can program. Very nice. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. The actual play of the stream deck is a pre-program. Is to what? Among Us. Yes. Program with Among Us sound effects and means like, hmm, seems sus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap five mana. Five uh, mana. To cast Grow from the Ashes Kicked. Yes. God. Yeah, I feel I feel some pain coming my way. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go grab two forests and I'm gonna put them onto the battlefield, and then um, I'm going to make two more plants into four or fives. Yeah, that is very good. Get that one. Get that one. 
those are my four or five plan. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> um, I'm then going to tap three mana and I'm going to cast a turn timber sower. Nice. Remind so, me what that does. Yeah, it's a 3 3 elf druid. It says whenever one or more land cards are put into the graveyard from. Whenever one or more land cards are put into my graveyard from anywhere, I create a 0 1 green plant creature token. And then I can pay a green and sacrifice three creatures to return target land card from my graveyard to my hand. Okay. And you have two open mana at the moment. I do have two open green mana at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's harrow mana isn't it it no. is harrow mana oh, i thought here oh yeah harrow's too isn't it yeah i was thinking it was three for some reason or no no you're right no harrow is four or three harrow is okay. three that's how you know it's not in my hand folks <laughs> <laughs> but we might as well you know just show all of our cards right not all of them, but i'm gonna cast a rampant growth okay. shocking and I'm going to turn the last, uh, well, I guess I have one plant that's not anything. And then I have a four or five plant. I'm going to grab a forest, put it on a field, battlefield tap, and then I'm going to move to combat. Okay. Are you going to swing those at me? I wasn't planning on it. Okay, cool. I think I know where they're going. Let's see. There's four. There's eight. There's 12. There's 16. There's... Let's stick with 16 at Mr. Krauss. I will block and, two of them. And hold on. And, and, and oh. I'm going to swing Phylath and another one of these plants at Chris. Okay. So how much are you swinging at me? I'm swinging a total of nine damage at you, Chris, and 16 at Dan. I'm blocking two. Okay. My squee will die. And one of your plants will die. Why does one of my plants die? Because my Morag is a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, yep. You're right. You're right. Um, you're right. I am blocking... Uh, so I will... Eight? Uh, I'm blocking the 3-3 three, three plant with... Uh, the 4-5 plant. Or 4 plant plant. I'm blocking the 4-5 plant with Aura, and I'll block Phylath with Twalker. Okay. All right, um, so I'm going to gain three life off the life link. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then when Aura and the Edgewalker die, I'm going to bring back uh, a cleric or uh, the cost equal to their mana cost or less. So I'm going to bring back Vito. I'm going to bring back Soul Warden. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put Aura, Aura back into the command zone. Mm -hmm. And then when Vito and Soul Warden enter the battlefield, I'm going to uh gain a life and each pumps uh and coil you're gonna lose all right and then did it did anything trade did any of those have enough power to they did not there it was they were oh. both there was a two two and a okay and then uh i will move to my end stop chris this okay. deck is pretty solid like the the synergies are really good on a budget. i'm very i'm very happy with it, dude. I got it. I can't lie. So, Koyo, you lost one plant, right? And I took eight. You, four total were coming my way, correct? There, there were four total coming your way, and uh, you, so you blocked two of them. And so. one of them, and one of yours died, and I took eight total, correct? That is correct. All right, so I am correct, <laughs> and you are done. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see if I can find the card I need. That was not it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if there is a card that I can get that is going to solve this problem. Let's crack the mind stone. Which problem? <laughs> that's the that's the that's problem? the real answer. Nope, Which nope, problem nope, nope, nope. is there? <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> I have not played a land for turn. I'm gonna play this Bloodmark Mentor. Red creatures I control have first strike. Mm, all right. I'm going to go to combat. You mm -hmm. only have two creatures up right now, Mr. Coil, right? That is correct. I have a zero one one plant and my turn timber sour. Which is you have a 6-6 six, six first strike coming at you. Isn't it 7-6? Seven, 7-6. Six? 
Seven six or first strike. Um, I will. Is the second second swing coming at me too? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, this would be the perfect time for what's the what's the teamer battle rate? Oh, I wish, I wish, gosh. but I didn't pull it. Oh. I really wish. That would have um, been so good. I I will take seven. Okay. I'm going to go to my second main phase. I'm going to play this Evolving Wild. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to crack this Evolving Wild. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a mount and put it on the field. And then I have one more action after that. So you have two extra I'm, combats lined up now. I have two two extra combats. And if I'm tricky, I might get a third. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, now Dan just needs that team or battle rage. Can you How about imagine? Dan's got two other players to worry about after that? I do. I'm I'm right. totally dying. This is this is a little, <laughs> a little uh, preemptive. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm going to spend two mana, and I'm going to play this cleansing wildfire, targeting my own mountain. <laughs> I'm going to destroy yeah. it. I'm going to get a mountain out of my deck. Oh, actually, I can draw a card first, right? Oh, no, no. It's get the land first, Correct. then draw a card. Oh, my gosh. So it comes into play tapped. All right, so there's my third. Mm -hmm. And then I will shuffle and draw a card. Okay. Maybe you swing all of these at Chris. I don't know what to do. Chris, I don't think uh, he would even care. Swing them all at Andy. Force his hand. He's got something in there. Yeah, I'm literally there keeping and... this so that I can draw cards to kill then my do own it. creature. And do it already. I'm doing it at the end of Chris's turn. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I don't I'm just want saying, to do it right now. All I'm saying is that as your mm -hmm. best player, what you see is what you get. You got the blue player over there with all Andy, the mana yeah, over. Andy, real, <laughs> draw my cards. Right I have I'm one real island. <laughs> real sus right now, Andy. <laughs> I'm going to untap. I have three combat phases. You do. <laughs> How vindictive and, and petty am I? It's yeah, I'm, I, I'm that guy. Red, play, red, is, red is emotional. Eight, six, Mr. Coyle. First I'll take, strike. I'll take another eight. You're at 14 <laughs> commander damage. Yes, I am. With two blockers <laughs> and two more combats. All right. Uh, untap. <clears throat> Two combats. Mm -hmm. oh, God, I wish I had a way to make him unblockable. Nah, with zero mana, you don't. Yeah, I'm dead no matter what <laughs> I'm doing. I don't have to kill you. Yeah, you say that. Well, how badly do you don't want to keep that turn timber? I'm, I mean, I don't want to lose the game, so I'm going to block <laughs> it if I have to. <laughs> I already I already extended the olive branch before you ta started talking about my turn timber. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> How big are your creatures over there, Mr. Chris? What's the total power, power that you have between all four of those creatures? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next combat nine, six at you, Mr. Chris. Sure. First strike. Uh huh. Commander damage. <laughs> okay. Any responses? Nope. Nope. You, you're going to take the nine? He got a four nine. You get a four nine. Oh, yeah. All right. Then I'm untapping. <clears throat> and my last and final combat. The question is do I leave up a blocker? <laughs> you it's... got a blocker. Hey, hey. Right? Ask, ask, ask the. Uh... The Twitch stream, Twitch guys. Okay. Do I keep, do I keep going full right, on Twitch, mono red? Tell us if if Morag should swing right now or if Morag should should stay back as a blocker. This is the real question. Yep. Do I do I give in to the rage? All right, you're red. You go down swinging. Yeah, that's right. All right. All right. <laughs> Even Coyle said you swing. <laughs> I needed to get into the chat for it. Chris, Chris, <laughs> one more time. This time it's a 10-6. Okay. Look, Chris's life is back down close to ours. And then I'm done. Okay. All right. Uh, I will untap. 
<laughs> Card turn. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. Is he about to double his life again? Um, you, uh, you were double at... his life and then kill someone. With wait, wait. Gun? You were at what before this started? Uh, I was like over fifty before you. Oh, that's right, fifty something. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, huh. I'm gonna pay four, and I'm gonna cast Sodi Soulbinders. And it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. Hmm. That's that's decent. That's big. That's I big. have I have three creatures. Two. Okay. Dan has two. It's mm -hmm. gonna be seventeen total plus one plus one counters. I have seven. Okay. So it's gonna come out of seventeen plus one plus one. Because it counts itself, right? Yes. Oh uh, no, other creatures on the bow. Six. So. Does it have lifelink or anything? Uh no. Okay. I can think we remove a counter from it to create one one white spirit creature token. Oh. Okay. Um, so when there's a battlefield, I'm gonna gain a life. And then, um, Dan, you're going to lose a life from Veto. I'm shocked, sir. And appalled. <laughs> no, only one damage, <laughs> not two. You can't be shocked. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> now I'm really here, appalled. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I actually, that costs one because of, or it's like an Edgewalker's dead. No, that goes right. Mm -hmm. Man, hmm. Thanks so for watching Cable before. Scary. Yeah, thanks for coming, Cable. God, I love Vito. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, so good. Yeah, after that, I'll pass. <clears throat> All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to pay five into Nin to deal five damage to my Vidalian Illusionist. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw five cards. Wait, did you cast her last turn? No, I cast her the turn before that. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. All right, untap, draw. I'm gonna play an island. I sure hope so. After drawing six cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, and then, um, I'm actually I'm gonna end my turn, and I am going to go to discard. What? I don't really do things on my turn. <laughs> He's playing blue. What do you expect? <laughs> I'm going to discard two mountains. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to have phased out that uh, that veto. I could have now. Mm -hmm. Well, Coil, am I not long for this world? It was nice, nice knowing you all. I don't even know what I've drawn yet. I haven't even resolved my up, my upkeep, my search for tomorrow. I just figure it's coming my way. <laughs> I'm gonna put four plus one plus one counters on my last plant, so now I have nothing but beefy plants. Uh, Where's the beef? Some... Actually, plant not plant. in those plants at all. No beef. I was gonna say, I was gonna say these are uh, these are impossible plants. Yes, they impossible are. Walk. The Impossible Whopper. That's what your deck should be called. File at the Impossible Whopper. Trademark. Hey, Burger King, if you're listening, I will take a sponsorship. <laughs> I have had one of their black bean burgers before, and those are very, they're actually very good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. The Impossible Whopper is actually not that bad either. I'm going to draw for my turn. The Impossible Whopper has a little bit of an odd aftertaste. That's my only. Thing. My problem is, is it's just as many calories, just about as the stupid regular Whopper. And I'm like, what's the point? Should we do either one? Neither. <laughs> true, true. The answer is no. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, scooping up already. <laughs> Sir, I'm a judge. We don't skip phases here. Can't go to scoop phase yet. 
we, 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 we only can see that uh, uh, yeah, sorcery speed. Sorcery speed. speed. <laughs> I'm actually a huge fan of that. Actually, I'm I'm one of those players that just don't concede. I, I agree. Yeah. Just let someone yeah get there. If you have a Vidalcan Ori though, can the, you then scoop it instant speed? <laughs> That's a game action. It's not. It's not a. <laughs> I would. I would offer some sort of deal, but I don't think you're going to take it, Coil. Um, I'm. I'm willing to uh, to listen. I, I. I will do nothing, and I mean nothing to you. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to have Phylath and two plants come at Andy, and three plants come at Chris. Uh huh. Because you're at 36, you just drew six, and you're holding up a lot of mana. <laughs> So why doesn't he get any more play? <coughs> For the record, I have zero cards in. But you got a veto and a life gain and a sixteen sixteen, so I don't feel too bad either. Yeah, I have no responses before damage. Well, you mean you declare no blocks? Yes. Oh, okay. Chris, blocks. Uh which one? Why are you sending at me? I'm sending uh, Phylath and two plants. Um, I will block Phylath. Phylath will die. <laughs> you don't have any responses, Coil? Well, I guess. Are you done declaring blocks, Chris? And, uh, so I think you blocked. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the rest. All right, well, no, hold on, because that was the blo um, block. So I'm going to pay two. I'm going to tap this to reduce by two. And then um, three, four, I'm going to aetherize to return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Oh. Why am I attacking Andy? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder why. <laughs> Only the well, attacking you... creatures, though, right? Correct. Only the ones that were attacking. Okay. All right. I will move to main phase two. I'm going to cast my commander, Phyleth. And then, uh, Chris, you're going to gain In, a ton of Hold life. on. In response, I'm going to pay oh, two. Okay. I'm going to deal one damage to Soul Warden. I'm going to pay three. Hmm. All right. Phylath. And you draw well. one card, Chris. Yes. I'm going to make uh, 11 plant tokens. <laughs> mm. Yeah. They just keep coming. Come in, come in, and come in, come in. And I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to cast a Tunneling GOP. What's that do again? So that is a 3-2 Insect with Landfall. It says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, Tunneling GOP deals one damage to each opponent. All right. How many cards do you and have in hand? Just one. Okay. Just, just like every turn. Pass <laughs> turn. <laughs> Are you done after that, Mr. Coyle? I, cer I certainly am. I'm gonna untap and for, for the record, I was never, absolutely shocked. I was never gonna swing a creature at you, Dan. Oh, you were you. That was my swings two turn two two people's turns ago. <laughs> I am not going to play land yet, Mister Andy. Yeah, what's going on over there? Nothing. The goal was to save everyone from that swing. To be yeah, fair, but, everyone. But, but you but, left your shell, shields down a little bit there. Oh, I had to because we were going to. I, I assume I was going to lose a lot of life to that veto. Well, well, a six six mirage, or sorry, seven six mirage is yeah heading your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's take some. Let, I mean, is it going to be seven this first swing, or is it larger? No, it's just seven right now. Okay, let me let me go up to seven here. <laughs> And then I'm going to go to my second main phase. Yeah. I'm going to play this land for turn. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to play this Alpine Guide. What's an Alpine I may search guide? my library for a mountain card and put that card out of the battlefield tap, then shuffle my library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I'm out this game. <laughs> Unless he decides to swing across. 
I could. But he's 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 got that big blocker and mm -hmm. I'm mono red and there's yeah. blood in the water. True. I mean this guy looks like a shark almost, doesn't he? <laughs> to be fair, I didn't put the blood in the water. Uh, weakness. I sense weakness. I have, I'll, I'll just I'll just say Chris has a huge blocker and I have fourteen blockers. Yeah, I know, I know, and that's that's the all right. Is there anything else I want to do? I mean to be fair, all of yours are first strike, so they are first strikers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to untap and go to my first of two combat. Well, hold on a second. I'm still my second main. I, want, I might as well put out some creatures, right? Let's put out... Uh, uh, which one do I want to put out? A Beetleback Chief. Ooh. Okay. That's what, two tokens? Where did mm -hmm. my tokens go? Either way, I have two tokens. I'll find them here in a bit. Mm -hmm. Now I will untap and go to my first of two combat phases. Andy? Yes, yeah, so this, this is eight this time. Yep. Okay. Untap. Yeah, that puts me at 15 commander damage. And now there's a third combat phase. Yeah. I can't resist. I'm, I'm sorry. I am dead. <laughs> I thank you for, for all the hard work you did. You're welcome. You are I, welcome. I, I, I do appreciate it. I will you go for my two, two tokens and then I will pass the turn. Okay. I wasn't drawing answers the next three turns anyway, so. You drew six cards. There was nothing good in my hand. I had Tailrand, Galemaster, Narameha. Invoke the fire mind, which would have been have been basically all my mana, um, mm -hmm. in, increasing vengeance and a mountain. So um, nothing. I see cards, but yeah, you're it's yeah, like you nothing. Have two spell doublers. And... Yeah, so nothing. Nothing was happening. Uh, I'm gonna cast <laughs> revenge targeting coil. <laughs> what is that? I, I lose. I double life. my life, and target player loses half their life rounded up. And then and then Coil dies. <laughs> or I probably just kills Dan since he's at twenty two. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna die shortly there after two. Well, the veto, so we'll the veto, the we'll veto. That's kills. what I mean. Oh. So I'm gonna double my life. I'm gonna go to uh, seventy two. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and do thirty six to somebody's face. Correct. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, Coil. I'm gonna do thirty six to you. Oh. Okay, I'm done. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> where did my goblin tokens go? Oh I have no idea where gosh. they were. Did I accidentally shuffle them? Did you shuffle goblin tokens in? That's funny. I then did that after that. You're doing what after that? Passing turn. What? I don't yeah. even understand these words out of your mouth, sir. <laughs> God. <laughs> Well, this Hydra right now is my goblin token. There's two of them. All right. Goblin. <laughs> All right. I need the top deck of the sentry, and I still don't think it's going to be enough. I bet it's a mountain. <laughs> no, but pretty close. Ooh. <laughs> is that Myriad Landscape? Yes. Oh, but that one enters tapped, right? Correct. Now you just need yeah, an amulet you... of vigor that's in your budget to do. Well, that. I mean, <laughs> you're not you're not just losing next turn. It's not like you can just revenge again. Does it have flashback or something? No. Oh, it's a split card. I'll put my Krinko out. It's a good one. Unfortunately, he does not have the hasties. And the mono red. Let's just swing with uh, everything but those two. Everything but those. Uh, well, no, and not the Mirage, because you get the big beater right now, right? How big is that one? Uh, he's a 16, 16. 16, 16. Wow. So you have a 4, 3, uh, 3, 2, and 2, 2, ones. Okay. Um, I will use a 16, 16, and I will block the, uh... The um, biggest one, I would assume? Yeah. Yeah. Leaving 3... Uh, six damage left. Uh, I'll no, take seven the, damage. Yeah, I'll take this. Uh, when that dies, I have to sacrifice a land. I sacrifice this mountain. Okay. 
Sacrifice the mountain. Uh, I will go to my second main phase and play this myriad landscape. I will untap all my creatures. <laughs> and I think I just passed the turn. Okay. I all think right. I'm still quite, quite dead. All right. Draw my card for the turn. Uh, I'll play a plaint. And then... Hmm. 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 Getting that aura mm. out with that uh, priest can do some stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering if there's a way you can get that... that uh, Fiend hunter some somehow into the graveyard and bring it back to hit the Morog. <laughs> um well, if he casts his commander and then sacrifices it. How much power total do you have on the board there? But I don't again? I don't think you're in the have... graveyard at the time that spell that six one always. three oh, two gotcha, one gotcha. one. So the biggest is a six six. Mm -hmm. A one, a three, a two, and two one ones. And they all have first strike. Oof. Okay. That goblin Cranko is gonna. He's gonna do start some cranking power. them out. Yeah, but the the token. <laughs> unfortunately, the tokens do not have haste. Not yet. Not until you top deck that siege commando or whichever <laughs> one. The, 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 war the goblin war chief, the fervor, yeah. the. Just discard the anger. What <laughs> with my one card in hand? Yeah, it's with faithless your of, with the real looting. I was going to say Wheel of Forge. <laughs> oh, gosh. $50 budget deck, just a casual Wheel of Fortune. Just a casual Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> hmm. Big, big, uh, this, this, this feels like there's lots of um, decisions that need to be made here this turn. Our decisions. Yeah. Um... His big creature really messes up my plans. While they're doing that, Coil, I think your deck turned out really well. It played well. Yeah, I like it a lot. It, it was, was terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I feel like mine didn't put on a good show, but I, I there's there's things in here that would have been really cool. It just didn't do a whole lot right away. I didn't draw the wizards. I kept drawing um, mountains. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pass turn. What? Uh -huh. I don't even understand. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> that was not the card I needed. Ooh, chat. Uh, Plaid Clad is sleeving up Fi Fi as as we mm -hmm. speak. Nice. I am. I'm not even going to pretend. I'm going to play this Soul Ring. Okay. I'm going to go to my first combat phase. I'm going to go right through my first combat phase. I'm going to play this mountain, and then I'm going to crack this myriad landscape. Okay. And I'm going to go get two mountains. So three combat phases now. Two. These are tapped. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's do it three times. One. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That uh, takes us to seven. Untap. Do it again. I did not One, even two, think three, about four. This. Yeah, this is the whole reason I built the deck. One, two, three, ten. So this is going to add ten more. So this goes to 17. And I do it one last time. One, two, three, twenty. This will put twenty more on. Okay. Oops, and he doesn't untap that time. All... No combat attackers or anything? Nope, because uh none of them have haste and I can only attack with these. So but I do have uh thirty seven one one goblin tokens. <laughs> now with the hasters, you gotta remember on that last turn I would have had thirty seven what, three ones? Four ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Now that yeah. is if you attacked yeah. with them every. So you only get plus one plus zero for each time they've attacked. Is that what it says? Not for yes, each attack does. step. That is correct. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So it actually well, only gets a plus one plus one zero after you declare them as an attack. Essentially, one hundred percent return rate on the uh, attack value. I'm gonna go cool with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Okay. And uh, no cards in hand there. True, true. True red player here. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. huh. Um. Okay, I'll draw my card for the turn. 
Hmm. Hmm. Can we just get a picture of like Omac from Legends of the Hidden Temple? <laughs> <laughs> Put it up. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, Silver Snakes, to the Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Hey, you guys won't mind if I real quickly put a perforos in this deck, would you? Go for it. <laughs> like, like you're just gonna put you're just gonna put it right on the top of your deck too. Right, like exactly. Vamp vampiric tutor a perforos, yeah. Yeah, pretty from outside the game. As long as it's uh, perforos bronze blooded, good. Aww. Chat that says, I know. wonder what these decks would look like if every card was less than a dollar. Hmm. Oh, my you completely different. My deck would. Oh, uh, Clarence wouldn't work. work. What'd you say, Coil? <laughs> So my deck would be way different. Honestly, I, I don't think mine changes dollar. that much. This I deck don't. ceases to function. <laughs> no kidding. Um, I'm going to play a plane. I mean, it. I guess it does change quite a bit. I mean, I, I just have... added a Teamer Sabretooth today, which is a $3 card, so... I wonder... It's amazing how fast these card values. I, I went and looked at an Oracle and Maldaya just because, hey, it's a repeat, re reprinted Jumpstart, thinking maybe it dropped down about 10, 15 bucks. No, it's around 30. They didn't print Diddle. enough Jumpstart yet. No, you no kidding. For that one. Yeah, the most <laughs> expensive card in my deck is Arcane Signet and then a Soul Ring and then Brass's Bounty. Hmm. <sighs> I didn't see Indomitable Creativity, Clone Legion, Apex of Power. I didn't see any of those cards. Curse of the Swine would have been really nice, actually. Ooh, yeah, it would have been. Be. I would have had my, my Grum Gullies out. Really want. Curse of the Swine has to only be like a dollar, right? Curse of the Swine's a, yeah, a buck 18 TCG player. You could have fit yeah, It's that been printed in a few Commander pre cons. It's in, no, it's in here. Arrows? It's in Oh, here. it is. Yeah, no, oh, these yeah. cards are all in my deck. I just did not actually see them. Mizia Mortars yeah. would have been great. Oh, it would have totally destroyed a lot of people. Yeah. But I got to play sub Supplant Form, so that was cool last game. <laughs> that was yeah. really cool. So you are in, you're in the tank over there, aren't you? Yeah, because I have I have a couple things I can make, but I'm just like I really them. <laughs> God. Ugh. In response, also... I block. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right, because all your creatures will have first. Yep. Um, fast turn. Ooh, what? Oh, you're, you're, I'm completely in top deck mode too right now. So, <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. I haven't heard a laugh don't, like that in a long time. Uh, don't count your chickens too fast. I'm Damn. going to activate Krinko. Uh huh. I'm going it's... to make one, two, three, forty, forty tokens. Burn it! Burn at the stake! Come on, burn at the stake! N no, Come I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna cast. So there's, there's forty out there. So I need a. Uh, where's my other dice? Jeez, oh, Pete's. I did not expect to get here. Okay. <laughs> so I make forty more. I'm gonna put a forty out there. So there, there. Plus the whatever's already there. Thirty-seven. So seventy-seven. Is that correct? Did I do my math right? One, two, three, forty. Forty-three doubled. Well, eight. no, it's forty total. There's thirty-seven right here. So one, two, three is forty. So there's eighty total goblins. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, eighty okay. total. Yeah. So it's... I'm gonna tap four. I'm gonna play this volley veteran. What's that? When Volley Veteran enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature and opponent controls equals to the number of goblins you control. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it to the the big big thingy. Hmm. I wish it was target player. But still good enough. Chat, that's a real card? 
I thought it was yep. only on <laughs> Arena. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the white card, the big one, I think is the one I need. Or do I need it? Yeah, that's the one I hit. Hmm. How many cards do you, you have in hand, Chris? Two. Two, okay. Which which your response? <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Dan's plays are so fast. Fast and the furious. <laughs> it's 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 Morog. It's pretty simple. I get, I'll give you one guess what the next draw, step is. Combat. Draw a card, play card. Yep. Draw a card, play card. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You got a mono you got a an Orza fog? I don't have any words off. Oh. Ooh, oh, well, it's out of budget. Orem's chant is out of budget. We oh. talked about we talked about kicker cards on the podcast this week, and one of my favorites is Orem's chant. Target player can't <laughs> cast spells, but if you kick it, opponents can't attack this turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be crazy against Morag. Yeah. yeah, it would. Oh, oh my you, god, that would. Be you horrible. can't swing at all. Ooh, chat, come up and it's time. That's a good oh one. Oh my gosh, that would be good. Ooh, comeuppance. But what if... Okay. Yeah, I have the, the manas. Um, lapse of Certainty. What does that do? Counter target spell. If it's counter this way, put it on top of his owner's library and tap into the player's graveyard. Okay. Not a white counter spell. Um, how many blockers you got over there? Uh, four. Four. Mm -hmm. I got to do some math. <laughs> Six. I don't have to do math. I have, I can swing with 41. You can block four. Uh, that would leave, uh, assuming you block all the biggest ones. These would be it. And one of the, so 36 would get through and they'd be, yeah, that math checks out. Swing. Math's for blockers. Swing with everything that can attack. Do you have any extra combat step yet? Zero. Do, and you but have no they're all plus hand. one and have no cards in hand. Okay. Uh, did you, and Cranko's tapped, right? You tapped him for goblins? Yep. Cranko is tapped, not attacking. Here, but there's um, but there's forty untapped one ones, and there are forty untapped one ones. Okay, and all of his creatures have first strike, and, and getting plus one plus zero for plus one. Right. Yep. Oh my gosh. So how much damage was that total? Did you say? Uh, well, thirty-seven times two is seventy-four. That's right. Seventy-six. Seventy-nine. Eighty-five or no, eighty-six. Yeah, 86. Did I do my math correct? So I would need to block one damage. <laughs> Chat sunbla sunblast angel time. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. God, yes. <laughs> that would, in fact, do it. This is where the Aether Eyes would come in handy, right? Yeah, it would. <laughs> uh, I felt it was also necessary on your turn when I did it. So that was pretty. That was a pretty big swing, too. <laughs> yeah, I had 12 coming your way in that turn. I won't lie. If you had left even one blocker up, I would never have done that. <laughs> oh, take me out with Mirage, sure. Yeah, yeah. Now I know. For game three? For ga <laughs> yeah. No, for, for for the rematch. Maybe we'll yeah. maybe we will do so, you know, some upgrades on this. That'd be cool. There's a lot I don't have a wizard deck, so I could put in some of the bigger wizards. And by bigger I mean more costly. Some I'm of them are just more costly. This deck. I actually okay, so I'm, I'm I'm having to do math here, sorry. So sure. most Morag is seven power right now. Yep. I'm assuming your big thing is gonna block Morag. And kill my Morag. I don't know. Killing your Morag would allow you to have a blocker. Or do you not have the mana to recast him? 
Or are you 40 block? Never mind. What am yeah, I doing? Plan- <laughs> <laughs> oh, are those so, your favorite hey, I, cards from your deck, Coil? Hey, hey Coil, thank you yeah, for reminding me. I, I do have enough to recast them, and I okay. never played a land, so this is my first combat. I do have a second main phase. But you have no cards. But you have no cards in hand, though. Right, I'm just saying, if he kills my Morog, I will recast it. Right. Right, but you casting doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything, no. But I would have him as a blocker. 41, it was at 41 blockers, then. Is yeah, that... correct, 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 correct. But yeah, Andy, I just put out some cards that I... Uh... Didn't get to play that are some of the bombs in the deck. I'm going to pull out all my untapped cards for my commander. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Three. Okay. Um. I'm going to block Morog here. Done. Um, and then I'm going to block with uh, First Striker with Fiend Hunter. They all have First Strike. Yes. Uh, well, the, the First Strike Giver. Sorry, the Blood Mark. Okay, the Blood Mentor. Understand is blocked. Uh, and the Priest of Forgotten Gods is going to block I'm the, uh, the uh, Beetleback Rider. Okay. And then I'm going to pay five. I'm going to activate Vito and give all my creatures lifelink until the turn. Uh, that's going to do it, isn't it? Make it survive. Yep. And actually, doesn't that kill me? With Vito out? How much, are you, how much life are you gaining there, Chris? Or no. Um, so the only thing that's gaining life would be the big thing, because everything else would die to first strike. Right. Die to first. All right. But the life damage puts me just above lethal, so I don't... Right, and you get to do 16 to Dan. So it's 86, and then uh, damage. Well, 74 damage. Oh, uh, you're right. Yes. 74 so damage. So, um, so 74 damage, and then I gain 16. 16, right? Not 18, because the first strike kills them before they gain the life. They never strike back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm only counting for the custody soul. This How game. big is he? No, he's but, then, but then you die on first strike before lifelink even happens. Yeah. Ah, shit. I forgot about that. Yep, you got it. Oh, Marag got it. Hey, hey, MVP. Mwah. I love <laughs> yeah. you. Good job, Blood Melek. Oh, my gosh. Good game. Holy cow. This was a last minute ad. Good, good job, Bloodmar. Good job. <laughs> good goblin. Good goblin. And oh. you raged, filled little Minotaur. You did me well. Yeah, that <laughs> does work out really. Who game? Who won game one again? That was Dan. Oh, oh Dan, that, you won that, both yeah. games. Yeah, I did. Oh my god! I totally scumbagged out, Mister Coyle. You did, but I, I, took, I took a book a page out of Mister. Uh, Chris, what did you have in your hand? Kaya's uh, Kaya's Guile. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's that's, that's a good card, but unfortunately it's a little too late when I had this many tokens. Mm-hmm. Sure, 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 sure. That was that was crazy. Well, um, Dan and Chris, thank you so much for joining our stream tonight. Everybody who um, hung out in chat, thank you so much. We appreciate you um, stopping by and, and hanging out with us throughout the night. Um, again, we will have these videos up on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions or want the deck lists, I know they've been posted in chat. They'll be on YouTube. Um, Dan and Chris, thank you again so much. Thanks for having us. Yes. Thank you so much. I really needed this. <laughs> <laughs> I know you all did it just to make me feel better. I'm working an outage. I'm working a lot of hours right now, so I needed a little uh, break. I, I feel you, Dan. I feel you. <laughs> you did it just for me. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> we did we did we were like you know what we need we need dan to play some games let's make yep. sure he's on our thursday stream that's that's what that's what it well, was i think, I I think <laughs> it's a, a, a great introduction to um mono red october I yeah yeah cool. tell us about this because this is it's a it's something we do at our lgs 
Yeah, so one of our LGSs, and it's a, it's not an official rule. It's just kind of a fun thing that we do, and it's called Mono Red October. So for the entire month of October, when we go to Commander League, we play only Mono Red decks. Again, you don't have to, but when you sit down and there's three Mono Red decks and one non-Mono Red deck, all the Mono Red players go, all right, time to kill the one person who's not Mono Red right now. <laughs> Um, and so there, there is only one other rule to your deck building other than it has to be mono red and that is you need to have one copy of Tybalt the Fiendblood in your deck and when you have him in your hand you must cast him and when you can plus one him you must plus one him before you do any other play for the turn unless you can win or you can ultimate Tybalt. Those are the rules of Mono Red October. Those are the rules. Like to play. Those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but the number of Mono Red decks that we see, the variety up there is pretty cool. So, and you know, it's only four weeks, you know, when, when we were able to get together. Um, obviously, right. we're not doing that, but we'll have to do one Mono Red, mo one, at least one Mono Red stream this month. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're, I mean, those are the rules, right? Those, I mean, <laughs> yeah. That'd be the rule. <laughs> well, we will be back next week with more Commander gameplay. Thank you, everybody in chat who stopped by. Um, have a great night. Thank you, everyone. Good night, Good night. everyone.